Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the Tinker Day. Going to test out this battery. Left on the charger from yesterday. See what we got. Kicking it off with 13.24 volts. This is a 730 cranking amp battery. Testing. There it is, folks. State of health, 100%. State of charge, 100%. 13.2 volts. This battery is ready for use. Now we're going to put this one on the charger. See what happens with this one. But before we do that, I'm going to get a cylinder head up here and put it together so I can get out to New York. Didn't get this done yesterday, so today's the day. Let me get cracking. I am a day behind and need to get out there and help Gregory. Need to inventory my parts, make sure I got them all, and then start putting them together. And if they're not already cleaned up, which they look like they are, I just need to lap them. So let me set them all out, make sure I got all my parts. There it is. All valves are accounted for, and they all look cleaned up. I'm not sure if I cleaned them up before for now or if they were clean when I pulled them out of the head I think I cleaned them up I could be wrong this head could have been a victim of bad valve stem seals so let me go ahead wipe my work area off push my bench grinder back out of the way and get my drill set up to lap these in the head and the head's already been made true and get these valves installed. We are moving right along. I lapped that one, that one, that one, that one. I got those four valves there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in after I drop in the valve stem seals. So let me install four valve stem seals and then install four valves and then I'll do the last four intakes. I got those four valve stem seals installed after I put the spring seat things in there. Let me show you those. You put these in before you put the valve stem seals in. And now I'll put the valves in. Frildo. And there's Ferildo, folks. That's right. His name is Ferildo. How you doing big boy how you doing come down here to say hi I'm cleaning these internal parts of the cylinder head these three have been cleaned this one hasn't these three have been cleaned this one hasn't some I guess sludge build up on them I don't know what it is I've never seen it before in a Volvo head I'm suspecting that it started consuming oil and they put something in the oil to try to slow down oil consumption. And it started creating sludge, so. Anyway, I got some of them cleaned off. Not sure if I'll clean off the rest. That'll probably make the first few oil changes kinda dirty. Back from lunch. This battery charge is going nowhere. It's still on 25% after two hours. So, we'll see what happens with that. I got all of these intake valves lapped. Let me go ahead and install the last four and then work on the exhaust valves. This is taking me longer than I expected. I'm getting out of practice here. Well, this ain't fun. I'm checking these valves for being sealed and you look in the cylinder hole and you run a flashlight on the other side of it and I'm getting a peep of light in this cylinder which is number 
three and I'm getting a peep of light in this cylinder, which is, I don't know, I guess number five. So I need to take the valve out of five and out of three and try to get those to seat. I don't know why they're not seated. And I need to relap them, clean them up or something to get those to seat right. Doing these exhaust valves, you can see that I'm getting good contact on these valves. And I really think it's real important to get the exhaust valves to seat good because those are the ones that burn all the time. Now I do have some crud in here. I might grab a wire brush uh, on a drill and run it up into these exhaust ports because they have a lot of buildup in them. Not that that matters a lot on a NA car, but I think I might want to get some of that out of there so that this head is just going to flow a little better. So let me see if I got my electric drill here with that small brush that'll run in these holes and scrape some of this stuff out. I scraped a little bit out with a screwdriver and that one right there. But uh yeah they're pretty pretty nasty because this car was burning a lot of oil. I am here pulling two alternators off of my engines and I took two to get tested. Had to go to several places to get them tested. Everybody claims their alternating testing equipment is busted. I found a place. They said two alternators that I took there tested bad. So I got one more here. It's got a AC compressor bypass belt on it. I'm going to take that off and get this alternator off and take it to get tested. Maybe it'll be good. But it's got a cracked case there. So that kind of sucks. Got a couple things going on right here. The battery charger claims it's done. When that green light's the only one on, it's just doing like a tether function. All the red lights are out. I could test this battery, see if it's any good. I got this brush that I'm gonna try to get in here to clean some of this carbon out of here. I thought I had a smaller one. I can't find it, so I'm gonna use this one to get the carbon out. And I'm going to have a vacuum cleaner on that side to suck it while I scrape that stuff loose. Uh, I don't think it'll fit in this side. So that's all I'm going to do is hit in here. Then I'm going to brush this surface clean with it. I ran the wire brush in each elf hole on this side. Cleaned a bunch of carbon out. And I ran the wire brush down here on each valve while I had the vacuum cleaner over here ran the wire brush in there cleaned a lot of that carbon out of there then I brushed that surface and I brushed some of this cylinder area surface so I think I got it cleaned up enough I still got to clean the cam cover off and I need to clean the head cover off so that it'll be ready to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and put these valves in tonight. It's probably 9. I'll be done hopefully by 10. Hit the shower, call it a night, get up early in the morning and clean out my car, pack it up and hit the road. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.